Good morning students. In this session, we are going to deal with a new chapter called redox reaction. As the chapter name itself indicates that, what do you mean by redox? Redox means, red means reduction, ox means oxidation. Yava reaction ali, oxidation mathe reduction yerudu simultaneous sag aakta irato, antha reactions na navu redox reactions anta karitivi. This chapter mainly deals with these redox reactions. Therefore, it is important to know about redox reactions. First of all, reaction and reno, the making of bond or breaking of bond. Some reactant is getting converted to product. Adhine navu reactions anta karitivi. In chemistry, mainly deals with the matter and transformation of matter from one form to another form. Therefore, the transformation of matter from one form to another form involves varieties of reactions. One such type of reaction is redox reaction. Matter one form in the unknown form hogake several reactions through hogat. Adhirali one such type of reaction is this redox reaction. These are some of the examples which involves redox reaction. The manufacture of caustic soda in the industrial preparation involves the redox reaction. What do you mean by this caustic soda? Sodium hydroxide is known as the caustic soda. And burning of fuels, mainly the burning of fuels in order to obtain energy is also one of the type of the redox reaction. And in sunglasses, uh, you know that in sun, when you wear the sunglasses, as the sunlight falls on the sunglasses, it becomes darker. The sunglasses involves the redox reaction, corrosion of metals. Mainly it is one of the drawback in our daily life. That is the corrosion of metals involves the redox reaction and in metallurgical process. What do you mean by metallurgical process? The extraction of the minerals in the extraction of the minerals involves this redox reaction. And in respiration, now again respiratory maadthi or respiration maadav again inhale maadthi, oxygen inhale maadthi. This oxygen involved in the breaking of the ATP that is in the breaking of the energy and the release of carbon dioxide. It is also one of the redox reaction and finally the photosynthesis is also one of the redox reaction. Therefore, you can observe in all these streams, it involves the redox reaction. There are many advantages as well as disadvantages in this redox reaction. Therefore, it is interesting to know about this redox reaction. Therefore, let us move on to the concept, what do you mean by redox reaction? Before going to know about what do you mean by redox reaction, we should know what is oxidation and what is reduction. So, Oxidation and reno, reduction and reno. You have already learnt about this concept in your high school. Therefore, what do you mean by oxidation? Oxidation and reno, the addition of oxygen. Not only oxygen add madhidre madhre nam oxidation anta karyala. Even the addition of electronegative element is also known as oxidation like fluorine, chlorine, sulfur. Similarly, the removal of hydrogen is also an oxidation reaction and the removal of electropositive elements is also an oxidation reaction. Oxidation means the addition of oxygen, the addition of electronegative elements, the removal of hydrogen and removal of electron positive element. Therefore, what do you mean by reduction? Other opposite agirate. Ye no addition of hydrogen addition of electropositive element, removal of oxygen and removal of electronegative element. Vice versa process, adhi e nakta idhiyo oxidation ho, adh rulta ne reduction. So, reduction is the reverse of oxidation that is addition of hydrogen, addition of electropositive element, removal of oxygen and removal of electronegative elements. It is about the oxidation and reduction which you have already studied in your high school. This is classical concepts, andre older concepts. As the time goes on, new concept, andre easy agi kandidionta method, yeno oxidation and reduction andre andre. In terms of electron transfer, we are going to study the oxidation and reduction process. Therefore, in terms of electron transfer, what do you mean by oxidation? Oxidation means 
the loss of electron means removal of electron na navu oxidation anta karitivi hagadre reduction enagirutte adru ulta agirutte reduction means the gain of electrons or addition of electrons is known as reduction therefore in modern concepts oxidation means loss of electron and reduction means gain of electrons henge aapko ittkolodu confusion agutte andre you should remember that oil and rig oil andre eno oxidation is loss oxidation is loss ade rig andre eno reduction is gain in terms of electron oxidation is loss of electrons and reduction is gain of electrons this is about the brief introduction to oxidation and reduction ನೀವು ಇಷ್ಟೂ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಓದಿದ್ರಿ ಏನು ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ನು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟು ರಿಮೂವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೋ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇದಿಷ್ಟು ಓದಿದ್ರಿ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಒಂದು ಹೊಸ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಹೇಳಿದೆ ಹೆಂಗಾಗತ್ತಿವು ಅಂತ ನಾವು ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೋ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಏನಿದು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಲು ಮೆಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಮೆಟಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದಿ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ರೈಸ್ ಟು ಮೆಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಆಕ್ಸೈಡ್ you know that magnesium is a metal which has tendency to lose the electron and oxygen is an electronegative element if we read the oxidation state nodadaga the oxidation state of this magnesium is zero as it is in the elemental form we will be studying in detail about this oxidation state in the upcoming session for time being as the metal is in its elemental state the oxidation state of this magnesium is zero and oxygen is also in its native form therefore it is a homonuclear molecule the oxidation state of this oxygen is also zero id eradu native form alli ide andre bere bere elemental state alli ide reactant react aagta illa when it combines together combined aad mele tane one electron kodutte one electron thagolutte iga magnesium electro positive element as you know magnesium is an electro positive element it has tendency to lose its electron and oxygen is the second most electro negative element in the periodic table hence it has the tendency to gain the electron aage enagutte idu kodta ide etto gotta ide eradu form aagi nimge magnesium oxide form aagta ide therefore in this example which one is undergoing oxidation and which one is undergoing reduction as you know magnesium is losing its electron in terms of electron transfer helodadre magnesium is losing its electron therefore it is undergoing oxidation whereas oxygen is gaining the electron therefore oxygen is undergoing reduction adhe classical concept prakara helodadre oxygen nu magnesium ga add aagta irodrinda addition of oxygen aagta irodrinda ee reaction na nanu oxidation reaction anta karithini here magnesium is undergoing oxidation adhe oxygen ge yavud add aagta ide electro positive element add aagta ide electro positive element add aagta ide andre this species is undergoing reduction according to the classical concept therefore ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆದಮೇಲೆ ಇದರದ್ದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ ಆಗಿರೋ ಏನಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಇದರದ್ದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟು ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಂದ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಬಂದಿದೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಚಾರ್ಜ್ ಏನು ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ನ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ ಮಾಡುತ್ತೆ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಟು ಟು ಅಂದರೆ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ನ ಲಾಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಎರಡು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ನ ಲಾಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಂಡಿದೆ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ತಕ್ಷಣ ಎಲೆಕ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಹೇಳೋದಾದರೆ ಮೆಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ವೆರಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಝೀರೋ ಇಂದ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟೂಗೆ ಹೋಗಿದೆ ಝೀರೋ ಇಂದ ಮೈನಸ್ ಟು ಅಂದರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಾಗಿದೆ ಮೈನಸ್ ಇಂಡಿಕೇಟ್ಸ್ ದಿ ಗೇನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ನ ಗೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ಎರಡು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ನ ಗೇನ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿ ಮೆಗ್ನೀಷಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೇನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಟೂ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಬೋತ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಸೈಮಲ್ಟೇನಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ರೆಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ದಿಸ್ ರೆಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಓವರ್ 
taking place simultaneously. Redox reactions means it is an overall reaction in which oxidation and reduction taking place simultaneously. So let us consider another example. In the second example, the sulfur is reacting with oxygen giving rise to sulfur dioxide. Classical concept prakara, oxygen is being added to the sulfur. This is an oxidation. Andre, yaud oxidize akta de, sulfur oxidize akta de. Adhe, oxygen is more electronegative element. To this, sulfur is being added. Idhra prakara yenai to, electro positive element idhra kaad akta de. Therefore, oxygen is undergoing reduction. Classical concept prakara, sulfur is undergoing oxidation and oxygen is undergoing reduction. In terms of electron transfer, the sulfur is in native state, the oxidation state is 0 and oxygen is also in the native state, the oxidation state is 0. These two reactants has been separated. Andre bear bear ide. Bear bear native state ide. When it combined together, ye nagate yaudu electron kodate, yaudu electron na gain madate. You can observe here the oxidation state of sulfur is plus 4 and the oxidation state of oxygen is minus 4. You can observe here sulfur is 0 in the positive valency plus 4 is hoktaide. Plus indicates what? Loss of electrons. Here the sulfur is losing its 4 electrons. Therefore, sulfur is undergoing oxidation. And you can observe oxygen 0 in the negative valency hoktaide. Negative valency indicates the gain of electrons. Therefore, 0 to minus 4, here the oxygen is undergoing reduction. Therefore, sulfur is undergoing oxidation and oxygen is undergoing reduction in terms of electron transfer also. This is the one of the example for redox reaction as there is a reduction and oxidation taking place simultaneously. Moving on to the next example, this is a combustion reaction. As I said, the combustion reaction that is the burning of fuels is a redox reaction. You can observe methane is undergoing combustion with oxygen to give carbon dioxide and water. Classical concept prakara methane ali CH4 ide methane ke addition of oxygen akta ide. Therefore, addition of oxygen and reno oxidation. Yaud oxidation akta ide methane is undergoing oxidation and you can observe to the oxygen yen band add akta ide to the oxygen H band add akta ide and re addition of hydrogen akta ide to this oxygen hydrogen is being added and re addition of hydrogen and re no the reduction taking place. Therefore, in this example according to the classical concept methane is undergoing oxidation and oxygen is undergoing reduction. Classical concept prakara one the example kote. Hange classical concept prakara in on the example kote dadre. You can observe magnesium is reacting with the fluorine giving rise to magnesium fluoride. Here Magnesium ke yao da adakta de electronegative element oxidation prakara oxidation and renu the addition of electronegative element. Therefore, the addition of electronegative element to this magnesium it is an oxidation reaction. Yao do oxidize akta de magnesium is undergoing oxidation. Similarly, fluorine yao da adakta de electropositive element alva right. Magnesium is an electropositive element. Therefore, Fluorine is undergoing reduction and magnesium is undergoing oxidation in classical concept. Similarly, when you observe this reaction, this compound name is potassium ferrocyanide. Ile na akta de ile est potassium ide, nalku potassium ide. Adhe product ek ban takshna est potassium agi de, three potassium agi de. Andre there is a loss of electropositive element. E compound ko a compound ko example observe mar daga. Ile four potassium se. Illa na gide, three a gide. Andre illa loss of one electropositive element ay talva. Loss of electropositive element andre no classical concept prakara oxidation. There is a loss of electropositive element. Here the oxidation is taking place. Adhe illa oxygen electronegative element ke yeh na adakta ide 
ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರೊ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಎಲಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರ ಇದೇನಾಯಿತು ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಯಿತು ದಿಸ್ ಈ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಫ್ಯೂ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಸ್ಟು ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸು ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರನೂ ನೋಡಿದ್ರಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರಕಾರನೂ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಕ್ಲಾಸಿಕಲ್ ಕಾನ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಅಡಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ನು ರಿಮೂವಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ನು ಆ ಥರ ನೋಡಿದ್ವಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಅಪ್ಕಮಿಂಗ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ let us consider this example here the sodium metal is reacting with the chlorine giving rise to sodium chloride idu overall reaction let us consider the half reaction bari sodium ge reaction consider madidre sodium is an electro positive element electro positive element andre enu it has tendency to lose its electron tendency to lose its electron therefore sodium is losing its ಒನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಹೆಂಗೆ ಒನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀನಿ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಿ ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ವೇಲೆನ್ಸಿ ಏನು ಪಕ್ಕದಲ್ಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಒಂದೇ ಒಂದು ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಎಷ್ಟು ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಟೂ ತೊಗೊಂಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಟೂ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಚೆ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಹಿಯರ್ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಈ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ನ ನಾವು ಏನಂತ ಕರಿತೀವಿ ಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ now let us consider this chlorine this chlorine gains the two electron which has been donated by this sodium giving rise to 2 cl minus andre as the chlorine you know it is an halogen which has tendency to gain the electron therefore the chlorine is gaining the two electrons to form 2 cl minus here in this reaction there is a gaining of electron therefore this half reaction is known as reduction reaction when you observe the overall reaction which species is undergoing oxidation and which species is undergoing reduction as sodium is losing its electron sodium is undergoing oxidation and chlorine is gaining the electron therefore chlorine is undergoing reduction this is the example for redox reaction in which oxidation and reduction taking place simultaneously in terms of electron transfer so let us consider this example sodium reacting with oxygen giving rise to sodium oxide when you consider the half reactions andre sodium ak separate agi oxygen ge separate ak consider madadaga yavud oxidation aagta ide yavud reduction aagta ide anta gothagutte when you consider sodium as you know sodium is an electro positive element again it has the tendency to lose its electron yes electron kalkolutte one electron kalkolutte giving rise to na plus plus electron as we are taking two moles of sodium yerd electron ache bartta ide and when you consider the half reaction for oxygen you know that oxygen is an electro negative element it has tendency to gain the electrons electron gain maadkondu enagutte o 2 minus agutte here there is a gaining of electron therefore this half reaction where the loss of electron taking place this half reaction is known as oxidation reaction and this half reaction where oxygen is gaining the electron this half reaction is known as reduction reaction ಓವರಾಲ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಮಾಡೋದಾದರೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಯಾವ್ದು ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಸೋಡಿಯಂ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಜನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ದಿ ಟೆಂಡೆನ್ಸಿ ಟು ಗೇನ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆಡಾಕ್ಸ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಸೊ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ದಿ ಕಾಂಪಿಟೇಟಿವ್ ರಿಯಾಕ್ಷನ್ ಅಂದರೆ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಜಿಂಕ್ ರಾಡ್ the zinc rod is being dipped in the copper nitrate solution usually copper related species so blue color al irutte therefore copper nitrate solution is a blue solution i am dipping the zinc rod in copper nitrate solution yen aagta ide as the time goes on zinc has the tendency to lose its electron and forming zn2 plus 2 plus form at takshana adella yenagutte solutions ke barutte hangene the copper is getting converted to copper illi plus 2 state alli ro copper cu agutte cu agibuttu copper yell deposit aagta hogutte zinc rod mele deposit aagta hogutte as the time goes on the zinc is being oxidized to zn2 plus and copper 2 plus is being reduced to copper and being deposited on the 
zinc rod. Therefore, you can observe blue color is solution will be colorless. So, here is copper 2 plus ions. Here is the ions. Zinc 2 plus ions. But this is red color. This rod is red color. Here is the copper 2 ions. Therefore, this rod is being deposited by copper. This is about the oxidation and reduction reaction. This is the oxidation and reduction reaction. You can observe zinc is being converted to Zn2 plus by the loss of two electrons. This is loss of electrons. This is the oxidation. Similarly, copper nitrate is copper to oxidation state no plus 2. Therefore, here the copper is in plus 2 oxidation state gaining the two electrons which has been released by the zinc to form copper. Therefore, zinc is undergoing oxidation as it is losing its two electrons and copper is undergoing reduction as it is gaining the two electrons which has been released by the zinc. This is also an example of redox reaction. This is ulta reaction. And the copper rod na nanu zinc nitrate ke place marda ga. This is the copper than electrons na kodatta. No. Reaction ne agala. Deposit ne agala. Ya ke the zinc has more tendency to give its electron compared to copper. Zinc ke tendency jasti rathe electron kodon ta tendency compared to copper. Adhe niwo. Copper rod na silver nitrate solution al dip madidre. The reaction is feasible. Andre the copper will lose its electron and form the copper two plus ion. Whereas silver nitrate in the form of Ag plus ion gain the two electrons to form silver and gets deposited on the copper rod. This is this reaction is feasible. Andre copper rod na nanu silver nitrate ke dip madda ga. ये रिएक्शन आ गए थे अंदर है कॉपर इज़ अंडरगोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन एंड सिल्वर इज़ अंडरगोइंग रिडक्शन आधे आदर उल्टा रिएक्शन आ गया था आ गया ला देवरफॉर अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एग्जांपल व्हिच वन इज़ अंडरगोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन द जिंक इज़ अंडरगोइंग ऑक्सीडेशन मोर फिजिबली Therefore, based on the tendency of the metal, yaw the tendency reactivity of the metal, in order to lose the electron, the electrochemical series has been formed which will be you are studying in your later classes. For time being, the reactivity of the metals depends upon the tendency of the metal to lose its electron. Zinc has more tendency to lose its electron compared to copper. Therefore, the reverse reaction is not possible. Similarly, the copper has more tendency to lose its electron compared to silver. Here also, the reverse reaction is not possible. This is about the competitive reactions. Oxidation and rain on the reduction and rain on the In terms of electron transfer, what do you mean by oxidation and reduction? Now, let us consider what do you mean by oxidizing agent and reducing agent. So, let us consider the example. In this example, A is one of the species, one of the reactant. To this, I am adding oxidizing agent. This oxidizing agent is going to add. How do you add oxidizing agent? Oxidizing agent is oxidizing this species. And then oxidation मारता है दे। याव दिन oxidation मारता है दे। ये reactant ये ना oxidation मारता है दे। Oxidizing agent तो कैल सा ये नो। It is oxidizing this species. Oxidation मारता है दे अंदर ये नो। From this ये it is removing the electron. ये ये इन दा electron ना तो गोता है दे। From ये it is removing the electron. अंदर ये ये इन आता है दे। ये ये इन दा electron से loss आता है दे। Therefore, in terms of electron transfer हेलो दा दे ना वो oxidation अंदर ये नो the removal of electrons is known as oxidation. Therefore, the species A is undergoing oxidation. हैं oxidation आता है दें तो हेल्दे this oxidizing agent is going to oxidize the reactant. ये हैं oxidize मरता है दे by the removal of electron this oxidizing agent is oxidizing this species. 
ಇದರಿಂದ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ನ ಅದು ತೆಗಿತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಲ್ವಾ ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಲೂಸ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಅದು ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಕಡೆ ಗೈನ್ ಆಗಬೇಕು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ದಿ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ಯು ನೋ ದಿ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ನ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂದರೆ ಏನು ಗೈನ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ಅಂತ ಇನ್ ಟರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಫರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಡು ಯು ಮೀನ್ ಬೈ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದ ಗೈನ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ದಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ರಿಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದೀಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕಂಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದಟ್ ಆ್ಯನ್ ಆಕ್ಸಿಡೈಸಿಂಗ್ ಏಜೆಂಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಪೀಷೀಸ್ which oxidizes the other species and itself undergo reduction is known as oxidizing agent oxidizing agent means it is a reagent which oxidizes the other species and itself undergoing reduction is known as oxidizing agent some of the examples of the oxidizing agents are kmno4 potassium permanganate potassium dichromate and oxygen these are the few examples which acts as an oxidizing agents so this is about the oxidizing agents idre reverse reducing agents agirutte so let us see about reducing agents what do you mean by reducing agent from the example we can draw the explanation of reducing agent this is the species a reactant to this i am adding reducing agent yen madati reducing agent this reducing agent reduces this a andre reduction madta ide this reducing agent reduces the species a reduce madta ide andre enu it is giving the electrons these species this reducing agent giving the electrons to this reactant here the species a is gaining electrons heng gain martta ide by reducing agent e reducing agent to tannaliro electrons na species a ge kodta ide therefore reducing agent is giving its electron electron transfer al maatadadadre the species which loses its electron is known as oxidation anta karithivi therefore here the reducing agent is losing its electron therefore it is undergoing oxidation from this explanation we can conclude that what do you mean by reducing agent these are the species which reduces the other species by itself undergoing oxidation therefore reducing agent is an agent which reduces the other species itself undergoing oxidation some of the examples of these reducing agents are h2s hydrogen sulfide ferrous sulfide and oxalic acid are some of the examples of the reducing agent this is about the oxidizing agent and reducing agent so in this session we have discussed about what do you mean by oxidation and what do you mean by reduction in classical concepts and in modern concept and what do you mean by oxidizing agent and reducing agent so in the next session we are going to discuss about the calculation of oxidation number 